All right, what's going on, guys? The topic of today's video is going to be a bit of a touchy one, and I want to tackle this in a way that weighs both the positives and the supposed negatives, because we've been talking about a lot of things pertaining to Elden Ring DLC recently that were data mined in patch 1.07 that released a few weeks ago, and I've noticed a pretty decent contingent of people who are very upset at the method used to gain this knowledge, and that, of course, is data mining. Now, if you've been around in the Souls community for a long time, data mining has always been a big portion of the conversation around these games because oftentimes there's a lot to find especially when it comes to Elden Ring. Now most of the time that's celebrated, however I've noticed especially in my comment section in the recent videos, people who seem to be under the impression that this is somehow a crime or that it's a massive disservice to these games and the work that was put into them. And we're going to analyze both of those points today. But in other news, I have just started a Twitch channel. You guys can find me over at twitch.tv slash streams where we're going to be playing all kinds of games, pretty much everything except Elden Ring. The first stream should be sometime today, so if that interests you, pop over there and drop a follow. I'll have a link down in the description below. But now let's get into the video topic. Let me start by giving you a brief introduction to data mining if you're someone that might be unfamiliar. But let me preface this by saying I myself am not a data miner whatsoever. I don't mess with any of that stuff. Ever since I was 14 and bricked my PC trying to mod Skyrim, you're not going to catch me messing with the files. But data mining is defined as the action of analyzing a large database in order to generate new information. And in the context of games, that means going into the files of the game and basically checking under the hood to see what code is running that game. Yes, the things the developers did not intend for the players to see. And oftentimes, that means finding out new things about the game that we would have never otherwise known. Most of the time, this comes in the form of cut content. And with Elden Ring, there has been a ton of cut content that we found out through data mining. There's been cut bosses, cut NPCs, entire quest lines that we would have never known about without the data miners doing their work. But there are a lot of people out there who feel that this has a significant drawback. And we'll start how some people see this as a negative. Back in the day, one of my favorite games of all time was Black Ops 2, particularly the zombies mode. And in Black Ops 2 Zombies, there was a map called Transit. And in Transit, you would take a bus around the map while fighting off the zombies. Now, one of the things that made the Zombies modes in Black Ops so special were the Easter eggs or hidden storylines in the Zombies maps that involved puzzles and mysteries that you would have to solve to technically beat the game. Now, these were so well hidden that it would take the entire community coming together in order to figure it out. And every time somebody figured out a new step in the Easter egg, it was a massive deal. Now, what made Transit so special is that it technically technically never ended. The actual easter egg of the map was relatively simple and paled in comparison to the easter eggs of other maps which led people to believe that there was more to figure out. And so a hunt went on for a second ending, looking for a fabled second bus route, and the hunt for this lasted years. It's honestly one of my best memories in all of gaming. Everyone was looking for the second bus route. Now the reason I'm telling you this is because this was before data miners came into the picture. When people started actually digging into the files of Black Ops 2, it was discovered that there actually was no bus route B, and the giant hunt for the ending to the true easter egg came crashing and burning. And this is how some people are viewing data mining when it comes to Elden Ring. With data mining, they now have the tools to figure out everything, and I've seen the perception that it's sucking the life and the mystery out of the game. A direct example is the fabled Gideon Offnir ending. In Elden Ring, there is an ending for each of the chosen tarnished in Roundtable Hold except Gideon. And once again, it spurred a hunt for this seventh ending that was until the data miners took to the files and learned that there were no quest triggers for an ending involving Gideon. In a generalized sense, data mining takes all of the mystery and search out of the game. It theoretically allows you to learn everything. And I can see how that's a double-edged sword, especially in the way of spoilers. You guys might remember back to the Elden Ring network test, people were able to have into the PS4 version and extract the files long before the release of the full game that obviously the developers never intended for the players to see. And in those files were a ton of spoilers, revealing things like the names of all the demigods, pretty much all the dialogue of many of the NPCs in the game of which had spoilers in their own. And I was sent a lot of this stuff without warning. And I gotta admit, it made me pretty upset. Now, of course, there was a lot of fake stuff mixed in there, so I didn't know exactly what was real and what wasn't. But the fact of the matter is that a lot of people who didn't want to get spoiled got spoiled 
spoiled because of that, and it led to a lot of hate towards data miners. Now, technically, the data miners did nothing wrong. If they want to seek out that knowledge, they have every right to, but it does raise the question of if it would have been better if that was never uncovered in the first place. And this is where we find ourselves in relation to Elden Ring DLC. As of right now, several files that are labeled DLC 01 have been data mined from the latest patch. If you want specifics on that, I've made several videos about it, but it won't be long before more and more is discovered, and knowledge starts to come out before the actual DLC does. And this does bring up the argument of personal responsibility and avoiding spoilers. However, I've made videos in the past talking about how I don't believe that's a valid argument, because I don't think it's fair for people to have to just avoid communities and the internet altogether. But I also have to address that when these leaks happen, they're very good for me personally. When stuff like the DLC gets data mined, since I'm a news channel first and foremost, it's a good day for business for me. So I don't think it's very fair for me to give an opinion on that. You can feel however you want. My personal opinion on where that line should be is not set in stone. Now, I say all that to communicate that for the people that feel that data mining is a negative, I understand the argument, but I don't feel like we can ignore the positives of data mining whatsoever. I do think that at least after the release of the game, we've learned so many cool things about Elden Ring that we wouldn't have known without it. People like Zoli the Witch, Sekiro Doobie, and Lance McDonald have done phenomenal work in showcasing the cut content of Elden Ring and finding really awesome details about the game that would have probably taken years years to discover if we didn't have their handiwork. And at least so far, the things that have been uncovered regarding the DLC, I personally feel have only generated more hype and put a lid on a lot of the negativity going around and doubt that we would get a DLC at all. Many of the cut quest lines and files that have been uncovered have also contributed significantly to piecing together the lore and helping us understand the direction the developers had in mind when writing some characters and how they correlate to events in the game. And if you're somebody that enjoys playing mods, this also falls under the same umbrella. I know the seamless co-op mod was such a big improvement to the game that it completely revolutionized how multiplayer could work in Elden Ring. And I could go on and on. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, particularly the Discovery series, you guys know how much I enjoy showcasing some of the cut content and the work that these people have done. So if I have to give my opinion on what I think about data mining, I have to absolutely say that the positives outweigh the negatives. I've mentioned it before here on the channel that I would have loved to see the impact Elden Ring could have on an age before the internet. Just like like what I was talking about with Bus Route B in Transit in Black Ops 2, I imagine the search for some of these secrets would have been much bigger and greater. So while data mining does kind of put a damper on those mysteries, we simply inhabit a different time now. Data mining is here to stay, and no matter what the developers do to try to cover up the files, eventually they will get accessed. And that's just the reality of it. I don't think it really makes sense to try to paint it with a negative brush, when that's just simply how it's going to be. So I would encourage all the people out there who have this negative perception of data miners and think that it's somehow ruining the game. To instead focus on all the positives that it's given us, check out some of the awesome cut content showcases that these guys are doing, and try to enjoy it for what it is. There are plenty of discoveries and mysteries to be solved in Elden Ring that data mining can't touch, such as the lore. The stories of these games are so well crafted that it will take years and years to fully put the puzzle together. And the only tool that can help you do that is your mind and perspective on what you can see in the game. But that's just my take on it. Anyway though guys, that's going to pretty much do it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new around here. And let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think data mining is a negative or a positive? I've told you how I feel. I think it's a net positive. But either way, I'll catch you in the next one.